Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a idea for my tutorial idea playlist video and the reason I haven't been making any videos was because I was on spring break and then I got back and I had nothing to make a video on so I've been working on something to make a video on and I've been de designing a version of my house that has been taking a while so I might show that next week. It, it's it's been a blur lately, so please don't unsubs don't unsubscribe. I will be making more videos, but we can get into the video now. So over here, I have this house. I have actually two houses. I will be giving ideas for that one and this one. And so this one, I'll start off with. It is a cobblestone with packed ice house and it has the idea of a modern look and so what I did here over on these weird wall designs is I took some cobblestone let me just grab some and some pack I packed ice and I took those items and I put so I if so here's the wall then I took this and I put one out like that. Then I put another piece of cobblestone and put it out too. Another one and out three. Whoops. And yeah, and it, it looks really nice. Just gives it some texture. And yes, that's what I did there. Just wondering. And so that's what these are. They just give it more of a modern look. And then I took some sand. And to make this, you'll take sand and under it, block under it you'll put water or sorry the block next to it you'll put water let me just get some sand fill this back up some dirt oh gosh and put sugar cane and just let it grow or yeah i can just put out these items and, I, and then we get into the house and i put one window here and always space windows another window there and yeah because if you put too many windows in a modern house it looks kind of stupid but if you don't put any it doesn't look like a modern house really i mean it could but it just doesn't give it the texture so now if i head into here to the house i have a simple foyer with a carpet and a little table which i made out of glass stained glass panes and some carpet and then over here I have a door design which heads into this area which is a dining room which has tables and chairs and plates and it's very simple then over here it's it's a very very small house it's like really small then I have a window looking over the swamp with a bed which I just took quart slabs and then put them around and then put cyan wool and put regular wool, white wool, and some carpet on top of that. Then I have the bathroom over here, which is a little painting, a sink, and a shower. Very basic. And that's about it for this one. This house doesn't have too many unique features. Besides, yeah, that's about it for that house. And over here, we have this house, which is a cracked stone brick house with packed ice and some windows and, yeah, not too much. It's it, This one's a bit bigger. So, and then it goes into the cave or the mountain, which is a unique feature. And we come in and we have a foyer, which is basically it for this. And if I go upstairs, I have a very nice view. All It's very, very, it makes the room look bigger when it's really a small room, which is just all the bed, really. Then if we go into here, we have a little couch, sitting area. And then nice pane window lookout. 
over here we have a big chandelier, not big chandelier, but a chandelier into the kitchen, which has basically everything you need. Um, a fridge, some cabinets, a sink, a little island, and this button is if you ever want to do like some type of redstoning, you can put your f wall and then you can put a command block behind that and put in the command set time day and so I can set time day and that was a really weird glitch but no it's daytime so that's what you can do with the command block and some redstoning and I all I like what I can do like I put that design in there and it just makes it instead of a boxy house I put in that design and we can walk down here to a little library and to a more redstoning area which is the closet nothing too special there then I have a little walking place to the bathroom which has a fireplace that actually I really like this it looks like it goes up into something or to the chimney then I have a simple bathroom also, to make your stairs look unique, instead of doing this, you can put it like that. Oh gosh, I can't do this. There, and it looks more... Oh, I don't know how to describe it. It just, it, I like that look. That's about it for this house. I'll show you some details I did on the outside. Nothing too special about this house. I mean, it just, it's, it, it's a modern house, I guess is what you would call that. And if you didn't notice that everything I use is, has like texture, like I have, oh gosh, I cannot work this. So when I place this door down, look, look, what I mean by that is you see how the wall has a different texture? And then out of nowhere, I have this smooth texture, but also the floor has texture. And then when you place carpet, it gives even more texture. Like, you don't want it to be all paint, like one, like all quartz or all packed ice or all, I don't know, wood. And, yeah, I would incorporate something like redstone or anything to that assortment. And you see how I did this staircase? It's part of the wall. It, 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 I don't know, it's just a nice touch. I like it. But if you have any comments, questions about um, new MX videos, just let me know. I will probably be doing a tutorial on like backgrounds, like things to put in your backyard if you're doing a creative world or you're doing a town or city or anything of the such so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this was Brett blues and i'm flying out